Debbie, Debbie, Debbie rocking her star She knows all the great fashion trending in town When it comes to town, that's not all She's very wise and intelligent, knows what she wants So subscribe Hello and welcome back to my channel Thank you so much for stopping by If this is your first time you are welcome. My name is Debbie. If you have been watching but you're still contemplating whether you should subscribe or not, what are you waiting for? Please click the subscribe button down below and turn on that notification bell. That is how you can notify whenever I upload a video. Today I'm going to be talking about our Prime Minister in the UK, Air Boris Johnson, and what has been going on for the past one month, I think over a month now, since December, with the news that came out yesterday that Boris Johnson is going to stop the lockdown, the mandates, and literally the plan B is going to be, you know, scrapping everything, like all these mask mandates in school. Even all of these people with diaper on their face, the way they'll be looking at you as if you're plagued or something, that you're not wearing a mask, not knowing it's not everybody that can wear it. We can return to Plan A in England and allow Plan B regulations to expire. As a result, from the start of Thursday next week, mandatory certification will end. Organisations can, of course, choose to use the NHS COVID pass voluntarily, but we will end the compulsory use of COVID status certification in England. From now on, the government is no longer asking people to work from home. Yeah. And people should now speak to their employers about arrangements for returning to the office. And having looked at the data carefully, the Cabinet concluded that once regulations lapse, the government will no longer mandate the wearing of face masks anywhere. Yeah. Mr Speaker. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker from, from, tomorrow, from tomorrow, we will no longer require face masks in classrooms and the, Department, and the Department for Education will shortly remove national guidance uh, on their use in communal areas. In the country at large, we will continue to suggest the use of face coverings in enclosed or crowded spaces, particularly when you come into contact with people you don't normally meet. But we will trust the judgment of the British people and no longer criminalise anyone who chooses not to wear one. The government will also ease restrictions further on visits to care homes and my right honourable friend the Secretary of State for Health and Social Care will set out plans in the coming days. Mr Speaker, as we return to Plan A, the House will know that some measures still remain including those everything they've been doing for the past one month i call it political theater do you know why why are they now coming out about this now why can't they say something they were literally talking about the first party that came out last month which is like over a month ago it was a party that happened in 2019 the year of covid i believe in uh in 2020 yes i believe it's 2020 it was the covid that happened not last year not 2021 so what are they talking about where have they eaten these videos for the past one year or over one year and now you are coming out with this one thing i'll say is that with politicians you know politics and everything they play politics with people's life they play politics you know we voted them there and they play politics with literally everything even with human life they don't really give a damn about people one thing i will always say to people is that if you want to go into politics just know how to lie if you can lie very well then you are good to go just be able to lie so well then you are a politician if you can lie like you know all these people that lie without thinking about it then you are good to go to be a politician so my own question is that why why are they just coming out with all of this now as much as i don't like boris johnson one thing that people need to ask is that why is media only talking about this something that happened since 2020 this is 2022 for god's sake who did Boris Johnson stepped on? Obviously, he stepped on a toe. That's how politics work. All these 
uh bureaucrats you know all these corporate uh corporations that put money in their campaigns and all of that he must have stepped on toes somewhere and now they are coming out and i to be honest the first time i heard about the party i said is it not his own party that will be in his own uh political party that would be in that party so obviously the the leak of the video comes from his own camp so definitely something is not right. And today I'm seeing the news that, oh, about 20 MPs, they gather together, they want Boris Johnson out. All of these people, they are birds of same, all of them, they are the same. They are all hypocrites. I can't take one out of them because all of these people saying that, oh, he shouldn't have attended the party. Go and look at their record. Go and, if, you, if there is a video that is covering their lives, most of them break all the rules. Most of them did not follow the rules. Do you know why? Because it is rule for thee, not for us. The rules are for we small people. Those are big people. The rules are not for them. And that's what people need to realize. Everybody putting their energy. But it doesn't need to go. But it doesn't need to go. Who do you want there? Another hypocrite. Another person that is going to come, attend party, pollute the whole hair, and come out and be talking about be bad better. Be bad better. Why they are polluting the hair. Talking about climate change. Why they are jetting off with private jets everywhere all over the world please spare me i i just want to say that like people really need to watch closely when it comes to uh, uh prime minister did this this mp do this this do that and the media is covering it 24 7 like they keep going on sorry they don't have any credibility i'm sorry i don't i don't trust anything mainstream media is telling me because you need to follow the money. Who is sponsoring their segments? Who is their sponsor? You follow the money, you know where all this energy is coming from. Why are they speaking out now? Why can't they say something for the past one year? Like, it's over a year. Why are they speaking now? Just think about that. Anyway, you guys... I'm going to stop here. I want to hear what you guys think about this. And what do you think about him abandoning the plan B? I don't even know what that plan B is anyway. It's about mask lockdown. They just want more lockdown, more lockdown, more business in the gutter. And I want to hear what you think about that. What do you think about everything being scrapped? And, you know, for now, at least for now. So we don't know. Tomorrow he might come out and say that, okay, we're going to bring all of this thing back and we're going to be more restrictive about all this policy. We don't know what will happen, but I want to hear what you think about the new law right now and about the whole thing going on with Boris Johnson. Uh, if you live in the UK, you know how it is. If you don't live in the UK, you must have heard the news. What do you think about the hypocrisy of all these politicians? Let's continue the discussion in the comment section below, guys. And on your way out, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Share if you like it. If you haven't, please hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever I upload a video. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. So subscribe. And get that gist with the one and only Debbie Fashta. Yeah, yeah.